proudly brought to you by Hovitech. Hovitech, just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to unsign image files using IMG unsign tools. So I have here with me two different firmwares that have been signed. This is for Lenovo A1000. Now the difference between these two images is that the two of them cannot be unsigned using FBWin tools. We have an we have a guide on how to use FBWin tools, but there's a new signature type that FBWin tools can't unsign. So this image here can be unsigned using FBWin tools. Lenovo A1000 can't. So let's try this now. We'll copy you. Now we're actually trying to see if FBWin tools can unsign this image. So here you go. It says file boot signed is not FB. So that means FBWin tools can't unsign this image file. So let's go back to image unsign tool. Now to to unsign a boot image, you copy the boot image file into the signed folder. Then launch the tool. The first tab shows the instructions. Launch the tool, click the unsign tab, then click boot or recovery. So since we copied the boot image file, we'll click boot. Once it's done, you will get boot image has been unsigned successfully. Check the unsigned folder. Okay, so this is our unsigned boot image. Now, let's confirm that this boot image has actually been unsigned. To confirm, we need to extract using Calvary Image Kitchen. So this is Calvary Image Kitchen. Now we are going to try and extract boot image, which is the unsigned file, and boot sign, which is the signed file. So I will confirm that this has actually been unsigned. So click boot B for boot. We'll try unsigning boot sign first. Sorry, extracting boot sign first. So here it gives us an error message. It can't extract boot sign. So let's go back and try boot image instead. Okay, so here we go. It has extracted boot image. You can see it. So clearly, unsigning worked. Now let's try unsigning a system signed image. Okay, so the instruction says copy boot sign image into the signed folder, then copy system image or vendor image into the signed folder. So this Lenovo A1000, the system image is not signed, so there's no need. Let's try on signing 
from this so we are trying to unsign system and vendor but we also need to copy boot signed image system and vendor we are copying them into signed folder okay so we'll click the unsigned tab then click system Okay, so once that's done, you will get the message system image has been unsigned successfully. You can now check this unsigned folder. This is our unsigned system image. Now let's try unsigning vendor image. Remember, we've already copied vendor sign into the signed folder. So we'll click on vendor. So that's it. Now let's try extracting these files to confirm that it has actually been unsigned. You can use any of your favorite system extracting tool. I'm going to be using MTK extractor. So let me launch the tool. So first, I'm going to try and extract system signed image to confirm that the image is actually signed. So you can see it says it's done. But checking the extracted folder is empty, so that means it can't extract a signed system image. So let's now try and extract the unsigned image, which is this. Okay, he says it's done. We can now check the system folder. And here you go. It was able to extract the unsigned image. So that means unsigning was successful. Well, so that's how you unsign these files using IMG unsigned tool.